And welcome back, Dark Souls Prepare to Die, PC, Steam, whatever, part 13. I think this might well be my 100th upload on YouTube. Either that or part 12. Either way, we're at 100 uploads now and, uh, wow, 100 uploads since February. It's, uh, so... He's called Fist, uh, because he uses fist weapons. Don't... don't get the wrong idea. Yeah. So yesterday, we signed off exactly here. And you'll notice that now that we're back in the game, we've got a big, fat, crystal golem thing. So, he has a lot of health, but we're gonna kill him. And we're gonna keep our armor off, just so we can roll. So, I've mentioned this before, but not in any of my videos, uh, only on like my blogs and stuff, but I am of the impression that poise should affect your, um, your rolling speed. So, example, if you have more than 40 poise, you shouldn't be able to fast roll. That's just my opinion, and I think it would balance the game a lot better. So, out from the thing came Dusk of Ulusil. Let's see what she has to say. So, it is thou who rescued me. Most gracious, I am deeply obliged. I am Dusk of Ulusil. I cometh from an age long before thine. I cannot stay here for long. So, before I disappear, allow me to ask one thing. My home, Ulusil is the home of ancient sorceries. My hope is to pass this profound knowledge to thee with thine approval. Would this be of assistance to thee? Well, no. Because we don't use magic, but hey, sure. My heart felt thanks. Then I shout, engrave my signature. If thou art in need, pray summon me from my signature. It seems that my time is done. May the great flames guide thee. May the great flames guide thee. So she doesn't say Gwyn, she doesn't say anything that anyone else has ever said. Just... But obviously, you can see in almost every culture in Dark Souls... <laughs> Dark Spot. Fire is... Fire is important. It is what gives life. So she said she's going to engrave her signature, and there's a ladder there. We won't be going up there, but... Well, pay attention to that ladder, this area. We're going to see another version of this area later on. And... This is where she engraves her signature. Not always in the exact same spot, but it's always... Unless it bugs out, it's always around this rock here. And here she is. This time she's a phantom. I, is she? I'm not actually sure. It's a bit hard to tell. I've never actually hit her and seen what happens, but... I am Dusk of Ulysseo. I'm not sure what it would happen. It is an honour to see thee again. I shall follow thine wishes. So she sells... She sells... She sells seashells by the seashore. No, she sells magic, and even though we can't really use it, we can still buy it from her, which is quite handy. Uh, nothing too useful, but she sells unique sort of kinds of magic, which she'll tell us about now. For a very long time, I was trapped within the crystal golem. From my home, I was taken and banished to a plane of distortion. It was there that thou came to my rescue. Long after I had relinquished all hope, so gleeful was I. My faith reneweth. The sorceries of Ulysseus differ from the magic of thy mate. It is difficult to explain. Ulysseus' sorceries are... What doth one say? <laughs> They're somewhat of an approximation. 
Thine sorceries are more straightforward, negating all but thyself. Does thou not find some fascination in these discrepancies? If thou art in need, pray summon me again. I wish to be of assistance. May the flames guide thee. So, although she doesn't say it, I think she's of the impression that sorceries of this age are quite... Well, not barbaric, but they're not as refined as the magic she has from her age. Basically, magic from this age is all like, you know, blast someone with a giant beam of crystallised soul energy. Magic from her age is more subtle. At least that's what I take from it. Sivermont's illiterate. What does he know? He, he doesn't know anything about magic. He knows that it is shiny and you should never lick it. That is all he knows. So, we have... What have we done now? We've done that, and now we're going to... Oh, of course, we're going to try and get this lizard that escaped us last time. Let's see if we can't kill the bugger. Kaboom. Very nice. Titanite shards. Just what we wanted. And twinkling. Twinkling tits. Which, uh... Are they the best kind of tits? I don't know. You have large tits, twinkling tits, uh, chunky tits, and <laughs> tit slabs. Personally, I think I prefer the smaller ones, but that's just me. Tree hippies. So, Sivermont may be illiterate, but he remembers what the, um... Oh gosh, what's he called? The Sealer. I can't remember his name for the life of me. He remembers what the sealer told him. Seek out Artorius. And although he's illiterate, he's actually a bit psychic, so he knows where he might find Artorius. So, what we're going to do now is... Uh, what are we going to do now? Well, first of all, we're going to upgrade our stuff a bit. Well, hello again. You seem to be doing all right, Needed. Let's upgrade that. And you know, as we're here, let's uh, let's upgrade our shield just so we have a bit more uh, stability to work with. Here we go. We'll take it to plus five. Two more. This will just give us a bit more, uh, a bit more leeway. Um. Should we? Should we not? Hmm. I'm just having a look at the arm. Ah, so our armor upgrades with Twinkling Titanite, which we have some of. So we'll do that now. And you can actually buy this, or farm it as you wish. And you should really have been upgrading your armor as soon as you can, but... We were only doing it now because I was waiting to get this stuff. So, I think we might have enough to take it to plus 15. No, we won't. As we obviously don't have a slab. But, you can see it now has an A scaling with dexterity. Don't get yourself killed, neither. Ta-da! So that was quite a significant upgrade, even though we didn't level up at all. So, we might be able to... No, we don't have enough souls. Do we? No, we need 90,000. So what we're going to do now is... Anolondo. Yeah, Anolondo. And we're gonna unequip our arrows. Remind me to do that. Now. We killed the fire keeper, so we can't use the bonfire. That's okay, because we can teleport about. I don't think Guinevere has anything to say, even if though you killed Gwendolyn. Because she's an illusion, what does she know? She's probably only programmed to say, like, two things. I'm just thinking if there's anything we need before going... ...on our little adventure, which we'll be going on shortly. We should really upgrade... ...some stuff. You know what, we will. We'll upgrade some, um... 
We'll spend some souls. Then we'll go to the, the entrance to our next area and we'll call it. So this is the Duke's archives. We're not going to be doing the Duke's archives at the moment, but there's something we need to do in here. You might remember this guy from earlier in the game. This is his uh, brother, I guess. Best thing you can do against these guys in this situation is just jumping attacks. Because they seem to have a modifier that means you don't bounce off. And you'll notice his uh, his butt's armoured, so we can't even stab him in the butt. We can still do that though. He's just not paying us any attention for some reason. That's okay man, you can... I don't care. So that was 72, this is... Oh, that's even less. Ooh, he completely crushed us guard then, because we're only guarding with a rapier, which has like what? Yeah, 22 stability, which is nothing. But you know, it the guard crush is still better than taking a full hit. Well, it, it depends on the hit, but in this situation it was. And now we have two of these. Her, That's not it. Her, That's not it either. Yeah, that looks not stupid at all. We're not using the helmet because we're, we're being stupid. You should always use a helmet if you're going to be fighting someone, you know, but... We're operating under movie rules, where helmets mean you're going to die. He can't fit through there. He can still smash us, but... Uh, I know it's quite boring to watch this. If I had my trusty Zweihander, slash Swayhander. So, for Dark Souls 2, we don't know what the classes are yet, as we've only seen some example classes who may or may not be in the final game, but... I'm planning on going with something like the Temple Knight they showed off, who has a halberd, an axe, and some miracles. Chances are I'll be using the equivalent of a Zoe Hander too. Because you know what? I love the Zoe Hander. I also love axes, but... Great axes in Dark Souls aren't really that good because of their limited moveset. The actual battle axe is a lot better, I think. It, it has a more versatile moveset. I sure say versatile a lot, don't I? And we'll go human soon, don't worry. What level are we? Huh. Yeah, that was smart of me. These guys have quite a lot of health, and they can also do a lot of damage, especially when buffed. Yep, I'm not going to die against these guys. Been a while, been a while since I did the archives. There's a very handy shortcut you can use to skip it and frankly I'm I'm probably going to at least try and show it if I manage it in like five attempts I'll probably do it if not I'll just do the place the whole way but hey if you're good at platforming the shortcut means you can do all of Duke's archives in about five minutes it for me Sen's Fortress and Duke's Archives were the areas that took me a long time to beat. Oh, come on. I hate these irritating little crystal hollows. They're just annoying. 
So this is with a basically fully upgraded weapon we have now. But you can see it's still not really doing that much damage. That's because thrusting swords just don't do a lot of damage. Unless you're doing criticals. Which is why I should really be using my longsword. But at this point even our thing does more damage than our longsword. Uh, so that guy's been buffed, you can tell by the glowing aura. Which means you don't want to mess around with him. Now this guy right here... Well, see, so you can see his shield bash did ridiculous damage. So we, d we really don't want to let him have a chance to kill us. Now this guy is going to drop us. Very nice. Broken Pendant. Now what is that, you ask? I'll show you. I'll try. Uh, da -da -da. Is it here? I don't actually remember where it is. Oh, there it is. Half of a Broken Stone Pendant. The vine appears to originate from Hula Seal. What does that mean? Uh, huh? Flying body? That means, who else do we know who is related to Ulysseal? Dusk. And let's go to Chamber of the Princess quickly. So, Dusk was back in the basin, so maybe she has something to do with this pendant. Or maybe she knows what we can do with it. Yep, and she's still here, even though we killed Gwendolyn. Yeah, she has her own covenant. Pretty pointless. Yeah, she doesn't really care that we killed Gwendolyn. Yeah, bye. Shush. Interesting that her illusion remains even though the caster has been killed. Usually, when the caster is killed, his uh, his machinations disappear. Machinations, perhaps not being the best word, his his conjurings, but also his machinations, if you want to put it that way. So we're just going to pay a little visit to the blacksmith and uh, upgrade our equipment as much as we can. We should be saving for souls, but. Oh, we'll pick up the bow as we're here. We're not going to use it. Can't use it. Well, we could if we leveled up our strength, but not going to. What are our stats? We're... Yeah, we're spread out all over the place. Ah, this is a great area for PvP. Lure gankers here, then knock them off. Oh. Phew. So there we have the Dragon Slayer Great Bow, which is a huge bow. It's the Mont Bow. And now that is revenge for killing me like 20 times, you asshole things. I don't give a shit. Have some of this. In your face. Yep. And you know what? We're going to kill the other ones because I think they're guarding a chunk or something. Which we're going to need. Yeah, I don't care. You can die too. Off you go, asshole. Excellent, a trunk. We need that so we can take our long sword up. Now let's uh get rid of that and let's see what souls we've got to use. Soul of Gwyn- we could be using these to make weapons but you know we don't really want to make any of them to be honest. Let's see. Hopefully we'll have enough souls for what I'm intending. Uh, we should do. Uh, 
So, not all of them, but some bosses drop unique souls. And if you, for example, uh, let's take Soul of Kalag. No, uh, blah blah blah. Yeah, used to acquire a huge amount of souls or to create a unique weapon. But how do you make that unique weapon? In this sense, if you take any curved sword, such as a falchion, a scimitar, and so forth, uh, and then if you upgrade it to plus 10, and then bring it to this guy, you'll have the option of ascending it into Kalag's Fury Sword. Now that might seem quite random, but I think it's either been in the game since launch, or they patched it in, but... Let's have a look. Uh, yeah, see, he shows us what we can make with our current uh, our current items. So we can turn Ricard Drapier into a Dragon Slayer Spear, which is what Ornstein was using, or the Moonlight Butterfly Horn. We can also turn it into a Lightning Ricard. We're not going to do that, because uh, we want to enchant it, but yeah. So if you have a weapon that can be ascended into a boss weapon, it will tell you in here. Or you can just check on wikis and stuff. The most popular boss weapons are Kalug's Fury Sword, Ornstein's Spear, the Dragon Slayer Spear, which is very, very good. But we don't want any of that crap. Oh, it's not crap. We don't want it anyway. Uh, three, and... Two. And... Ta-da! And now we should be able... No, no, he can't take it to plus 11. So it's important we got it to plus 11 at Andre before we enter an area. Because we can upgrade it by ourselves, but we can't ascend it by ourselves. And plus 5 to plus 6, plus 10 to plus 11, that counts as ascending. But, um... We'll do that at Andre, and, uh... You know what? We all... We won't spend any souls on our armor yet. We won't bother with that, because we want to upgrade our other stuff. Uh, we could... You know what, we'll, we'll also upgrade our heater shield. Just because. Actually, we don't have any... Do we have any? Well, we'll buy, like, one. Just in case. And now... Yep. I will. Probably. Let me think. Now we will visit Andre and then we'll head to the next area and we'll call it there. This and the last part have been a bit kind of, well, not much has happened but it'll start to pick up now. Undead Parish, that's what we want. They actually patched in the ability to go to Undead Parish, not on PC as it was, well, they basically, with the new DLC content, which we have as we're on PC, if you're on PC, you automatically have the DLC, so don't worry about that. But because we're on PC, and the console version got patched, so that they added more places to teleport to, which is very useful. Well, yep. yep, yep, yep. Let's uh, take that to plus 6, and longsword to plus 11. Thanks. And let's see. Yep, that's good. Go get yourself killed. Neither of us won. Yep, we won't be seeing him for a while. Because we're now going to the DLC area, I think. We should be able to visit there now. I think I've done it in the right order. To visit the DLC area, you need... First of all, you need the Lord Vessel. Then you need to free Dusk after killing the uh, Hydra. And... You need the Lord Vessel because you need to be able to visit Duke's archives, which you can only do once you have it. And the purpose of that is uh, because you need to kill the golem we killed for the pendant. And you'll notice the crystal lizard's no longer there because we killed it. Once you kill it, it doesn't respawn. Uh, 
I don't think. No, it doesn't respawn. If you want to kill a lot of those little lizards, you can find dozens of them in the Great Hollow. And we'll be going to the Great Hollow later. So, no worries there. Probably won't be spending a lot of time there killing lizards, but I'm probably just going to jump down as fast as I can. But you can explore the Great Hollow a lot. I don't like to because I die from falling down. I've said it before and I'll say it again, I suck at platforming. And hopefully I've done this alright. It's I've only done the DLC like once or twice really. It's uh, I think it was quite expensive for the content it offered. But you know, it's Dark Souls, so I probably would have paid any amount. I was hoping it would be a bit longer, but it added some nice stuff. One slight issue I have is that you don't actually need the DLC for any of the DLC items. Oh, and you can see there's something there. Now, the item will be there even if you don't have the DLC, but the portal will not be there. Let's uh, make sure we've got all our armor on for this dramatic cutscene. Even though that makes us run like a slow. We want to grab that first. Okie dokie. Nice. That's Dusk's set. Is that her body? We don't know. Probably not. And here... What is this? Let's have a look, shall we? He was never heard of again. Just lying. He's here. And now... We're gonna call it. But first... We're just gonna... Have a little look up here. So, what could be happening... Next time, tomorrow? Well... What could be beyond that gate, you will see. We're going to call it here. Uh, last two parts haven't been that interesting, I know. But from here, it's all... Well, I say new content, but this content came out like August 2012. <laughs> almost a year ago, but hey. See you tomorrow.